A Wonderlist is free for both iPhone and iPad. It's one of my favorite apps and I use it every day so you'll see it's on my home screen. And this is an app to make lists. Just lists upon lists upon lists. Um, if you need to do something, make a category like I did here. And then within that category, all the things that you need to do. So you'll see here I've been lazy. I have a lot of things to do. One of them though is uh, Demo Wonder List on iPhone, which is what I'm doing now. You can uh, choose due dates for your things to do. You can choose reminders. Uh, it's very cool. So now that I've done that, I can click the check mark and it's done. It's uh, grayed out and I can go move on and be productive. Now I use it mostly for projects, but I, you can use it to make grocery lists. Here I have a uh, my things to buy list. So these are things that I need to be spending money on. Here I'm creating a uh, test project. So I scroll down and I see test. And now I can um, write something for me to do. Write a task is really, really easy. One of the easiest apps to use out there. So here I got to tell myself, or I got to remind myself to do something. Just press enter and boom. And this will sync to your iPhone. This will sync to the online version. If you click the star, uh, that means that you've started that task and I'm doing something right now. If you click towards the bottom, you'll see that there's a place for overdue tasks. You see I'm really lazy, I've got all those overdue tasks. And ones that I've started, so these are all things I've started and I need to finish. So, really cool way to get organized. Here's the uh, iPad version. It's basically just a, a bigger version of the iPhone. So, demo Wonderlist on iPad. I'm done with that task. You can see all your projects uh, as well. You'll also notice uh, a icon with people on it. Um, that's because whatever your list is or whatever your tasks are that you're working on, you can assign them to people. And then whenever uh, anything's happened on the app, it'll sync in all your phones at the same time or all your iPads so you guys can all stay up to date. Pretty cool. Um, and in the settings, it's really easy to customize the app as well. They give you, uh, I think, about 13 different backgrounds to work with. So here I just changed to the black wood. So this is the uh, black wooden panel background and it looks kind of nice. So you know I might keep that. Uh, also you can edit your projects and maybe let's say one's more important than the other. Then you know stack them up in order from you know most important to least important. Uh, that's customizable as well. On their website, you can also log in and check your lists from any computer in the world as long as you have internet connection. And this stays uh, updated with your phone and your iPad. So whatever's going on on one will change all of these. So it's very, very easy to stay organized. Personally, I like to use the desktop version better. So uh, one of the cool features of the desktop version is when you look through a project and you scroll down, you can actually see all of the tasks that you've completed for that project. So it keeps all the tasks that you've done from day one for that project, which is a really cool thing. Uh, so go ahead and check out their official video if you guys want to learn more. It's pretty cool. And if you want to see more app reviews, click on an icon. Uh, subscribe if you'd like. And peace.